everybody! This video is going to be my advice for creating your own original characters that happen to suffer from particular mental illnesses. Now, from what I have written down, I would go with three basic steps to creating this character and incorporating the mental illness. That first step would be to find the illness or illnesses you are going to be giving this character that they are going to be experiencing. Step two would be to research this illness as much as you can. Even if you happen to suffer from it yourself, other people may experience this differently and that can include your character. Step three would be to apply it to the character and make it affect their story the way it realistically would. Now, the research part should be pretty easy because so many people have that mild interest in psychology, in particular mental illnesses. What you do with this research on, on the mental illness that you have chosen is that you apply it to the character and their story as in how do you think this affects how they perceive things? How do you think this affects how they react to things? How do you think this affects how they make their decisions? How would you think it affects their goals or their motives? That would be a big one, especially if the character happens to be a main character in a story of yours. I know depression comes with a lot of apathy, it comes with a lot of fatigue, a lot of lack of inspiration, no, no motivation to do anything. You often may come off as distant, sad, maybe even angry. You may be quiet. It depends on the person and the character we're discussing, but depression is a very flexible illness in terms of how it, it executes itself in someone. So that often has the same vibe of uninspired, unmotivated, apathetic. Keep that in mind if your character has major depression or something. They may not want to go through with everything and that may be the conflict in the story. They may have something they need to do but they simply cannot get themselves to do it because they are depressed. Bipolar disorder is another major illness. It is consistent of depressive episodes and manic episodes. There's Bipolar 2, which is the more common form, I believe, and Bipolar 1, which features more psychotic symptoms. Now, depression I just explained basics of. Mania, this happens to include a lot of hyperactivity, a lot of feeling extremes. When manic, people may seem like they're panicking or something. Just a lot of intense emotion and intense feelings are there during those times. A third major illness that people seem to love to write for horror, and when I say love to write, I mean write it poorly and in the wrong context, happens to be schizophrenia or any other psychotic illness. Now, the major symptoms of schizophrenia happen to make a person come off as acting inappropriate or bizarre or just plain weird. Someone who is schizophrenic may be distant not interested in the relationships, and when they are interacting with other people, their interactions happen to be a little strange. They may laugh at sad things, they may cry at happy things. That actually happens with normal people. They may just cry. The psychotic symptoms are also something that can vary greatly. The types of hallucinations and the types of delusions they face will vary from person to person. I myself have been diagnosed with schizophrenia, and I personally suffer from delusions far more than I do hallucinations. My delusions happen to range from persecution to paranoid. Usually someone is out to get me in one way or another. I would go into specifics, but people would think that it is just extreme. That, and like many schizophrenic people, I can't exactly tell what is or is not a delusion or a hallucination. What I think may be happening may not be happening, and what I think may not be happening may be happening. Psychotic disorders deal with a disconnect from reality, and that expresses itself in many ways. An example I have of a schizophrenic character in particular, and depressed, would be my own character, Ash 
who happens to give off a little unsettling vibes. They're not all that talkative with other people. They hallucinate, they have their delusions, and due to this, they think a little irrationally. They're used to these unnatural things happening, and so they perceive it as normal. And when this is normal, they are simply thinking pretty irrationally on a regular basis. This leads to them trusting a figure they meet in their dreams in order to help them with a stalking problem they're experiencing. And think to yourself, who exactly would trust a strange, mysterious figure that you don't know is a person, let alone as a person, with your situation with stalking? You're being stalked, why would you trust someone like that? They are simply not in their right mind because at this point they are driven to desperation and they are suffering from untreated mental illness. This brings me to another point. Is your character aware of their mental illness? Are they diagnosed with the mental illness? Are they being treated for the mental illness? These are all things that you need to take into consideration when writing a character who happens to suffer from something, especially something major. I will also add, since I am personally a fan of horror, and I read a lot of horror, that many people like to incorporate mental illness into their horror stories, but they do not seem to be aware of the fact that when it comes to violence, mentally ill people are much more likely to face violence than to be violent themselves. There are, of course, exceptions. There are people who are driven to violence due to paranoia or something else, but that does not take away from the fact that most mentally ill people are victims of violence. Now that you have a character who has a mental illness and who expresses it if they are not treated, you need to think about how other characters perceive them and how other characters treat them due to this. When it comes to being treated as a mentally ill person, you may not seek the treatment because you do not believe you are mentally ill. Depression may lead you to not seek the treatment because you simply don't think you deserve it or you just do not have the motivation to seek it. And that can be expressed in plenty of characters that you write with similar issues. That is another thing to consider when writing a mentally ill character. Are they seeking treatment for their issues? If so, how? What type of treatment are they seeking? If not, why aren't they seeking it? What specific part of their mental illness is keeping them from doing so? I don't want to be the person to say that mental illness needs a reason to be in your character, but the thing is, mental illness affects someone so much that it will show in their behavior, it will show in their relationships, and it will show in how they interact with other people and their interact with their setting. So due to this big an effect that mental illness has on a person, it will make a notable change in your story. The other thing is, some people have mental illnesses due to things like trauma. Some people have it due to genetics. What might be causing your character's mental illness? Once you figure out how this mental illness or mental illnesses affect your character specifically, you should figure out what effect it has on the story that your character is involved with, what it does to the people around them, what it does to your character's situation that they happen to be involved with. Another thing to take into account with mental illness is a trickier one. It happens to do with the gender your character is raised as and how being treated as this gender affects the way that they express themselves with this mental illness, such as women may be more outwardly expressive with their emotions because they are raised to be more emotional outwardly in comparison to men. Women are raised more to blame themselves, while men are raised more to blame others. This may not be the case for every character, and that is another thing to take into account when you are writing your own. You need to take into account their gender, how it affects them, how they react to it, 
and how they execute their symptoms after they are affected by their upbringing as this gender or presentation as that gender. It is also a very good idea to ask questions to someone you may know with the illness that you are researching for your character, as some experiences may give you ideas if they give you consent to use that as an idea. The experiences they have may differ from the norm, but may still be prevalent among mentally ill people with that specific illness. Ultimately, you need to think about what this illness is. How does it affect this character? And once you figure out how it affects the character, you need to figure out how this character interacts with other people and with their environment due to this illness. Does it have an effect on how they interact with others? Does it have an effect on how they interact with their environment? If it's something like schizophrenia or anxiety, it definitely should, and your writing should reflect that. You really just need to think realistically when it comes to writing characters with these mental illnesses. You need to think, how would it affect a real person? How does their upbringing affect how they act now? How does their upbringing affect the mental illness they have now? How do those two things mix together to create how this person acts? Anyway, that would be most of my advice for writing characters with mental illnesses. If you have questions about specific mental illnesses, you can ask someone who experiences them. In my case, I suffer from schizophrenia most prominently, so you can come to me for questions about that. I cannot guarantee an answer, but I can guarantee that I will try to help. Anyway, thank you for listening and watching the video. Thank you so much. If you have recommendations or requests for what you may want to see or hear about, please comment. And I will see you guys another day. Goodbye.